Governor Roy Cooper announces how he hopes to spend $1 billion over the next two years. WNCT's Kelly Byrne joins us now with more on how his proposal could affect education here in North Carolina. Well, as expected, Governor Roy Cooper's budget focused heavily on education. It was the first topic of his plan. Now, last week we told you about his proposal to increase teacher pay. Today he laid out other changes to the education system. Investing in our kids is investing in our future. Governor Roy Cooper is calling his budget plan the biggest of the decade for teachers. He's proposed a double digit pay raise for public school teachers, bringing salaries up to the national average by 2022. But that's not all. We want the best teaching our students, we have to attract the best to the profession. Pitt County Association of Educators President Lauren Piner is pleased with Cooper's focus on attracting and retaining the best teachers for the public school system. I think it's great to see the best and brightest loan forgiveness program to attract teachers to the profession. Um, it's very similar to the old teaching fellows program, which was extremely successful and was model legislation for other states. The program gives college students $10,000 into and fees in exchange for commitment to teach in one of our state's public schools after graduation. My budget provides for 4,700 new pre-K slots over the next two years, getting rid of the waiting list completely. Currently, thousands of four-year-olds are on a waiting list for pre-K with only 22% enrolled. Cooper wants to bring this number up to at least 55% so children are learning before they start grade school. However, the governor says a healthy education is important for more than just youth. Let's increase the percentage of adults who have higher education degrees. Right now, it's about 38% we need to increase that figure to at least 55 percent. A very ambitious budget, but Kelly, I guess the big question would be, is this going to increase taxes? No, Cooper says it will not increase taxes and will not take away from any special funds, but it will be interesting to see how the General Assembly reacts to this budget. Will be interesting. All right, Kelly, thank you.